Well, hey there, everyone! Jeff 28 and the Skylander video! Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yeah, what is it, Christmas? No, I, I really miss Skylanders. I think many of you do too. And I haven't made a Skylander video in quite some time. And I wanted to address uh, my thoughts about all these rumors about a new Skylander game coming in the future. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about that. Now, do I believe these rumors? There is this girl leaker that, you know, tweets out a new Skylander game is coming. Uh, no. I do not believe these rumors. Uh, she sells SEX stuff on the side. <laughs> uh, kind of hard to take seriously, but hey man, she does get a lot of information right in the video game industry, a lot of predictions, but she does get some stuff wrong, but overall, she does pretty good. So, but let's just, for the sake of this video, let's pretend these rumors are true. Portal Masters, everything is lining up right and we're getting a brand new Skylander console game in 2021. Woo, 10th year anniversary. That'd be so awesome, right? <laughs> That'd be amazing. But let's pretend for the sake of this video that it is coming. Now, what type of game can it be? Well, I don't think it's gonna be a traditional type of game. I think we will get a console, like a little, a game for our consoles or our PlayStation 5 or whatever it'll be by then. <laughs> I think that'll happen. But now, what about the toys? I don't think, Toys R Us was a big factor when it came to Skyliners. I don't think we're gonna have uh, the toys you go into Walmart, places like that, and get the toys. I don't think that's gonna happen with the type of world we live in and the market these days. No Toys R Us in many parts of the world. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about this GPS functionality. Yeah, I know. I do not, let's be clear, I'm like my buddy Paul, I do not want a Skylanders Go type of game. Eh, 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 no, I don't want to walk outside my door and there's uh, six uh, robots flying around and I capture one and, and bring it, you know? I don't want that, no. Uh, to me, there's only one robot, right? Uh, but what about, there, there is some talk about this GPS functionality, what happens? Every city or town has some landmarks. I'm gonna talk about my land. We do have this place called the Big Nickel. Cause we mine nickel where I live. What happens if Prism Break was at the Big Nickel? I had to travel there. I get my parents to drive me over. <laughs> no, to the Big Nickel. And I get myself Prism Break. And then I bring them home. He's on my phone. And then I can play them on the console. Now that idea, I kind of like, to be honest with you. You know, we also have this place, the biggest science center north of Toronto. It's called Science North. I got to go there. I got to get Pop Fizz, right? Because there's a magic gate in the game that I can't get through. So I go to Science North <laughs> and get Pop Fizz. I think this would be really cool. Now, it would suck for those people in rural areas where there's not a lot of but I think they can make it work. They can, you know, you could still get Skylanders. Uh, you know, oh, I gotta go to Memorial Park. I gotta get Stealth Health, bring her home. Okay, that didn't sound right, but you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Let me know, do you think this idea would work? Would you play this type of game? I think I'd play this type of game. It would be a mix of going outside, getting a Skylander, bringing it home, playing on the console in a dungeon crawler type of game. I think this would be kind of cool. <laughs> let me know what you all think. Or if you, know, if you want to talk about, let me know if you think these rumors are true. Or just even to say hi. Alright, stay safe everyone and I'll be back soon with some more videos. Alright, bye. <laughs> yeah. You want to dance out? You want to dance out of this? Let's dance out of this.